Circle hook, corner of the mouth pops straight out. Another massive pollock. What an absolute beauty. Real solid fish, it's absolutely full. I am going to take this one home. Take this one home for the table. It's a fair size. Hi everybody and welcome back to the Fish Locker Kitchen. So, you've probably just seen, in fact, I think the video goes up in about 45 minutes. I don't know when this one goes up. Um, John has caught quite a lot of pollock. So I'm going to show you two different ways of cooking it. Two quite different ways. So the one I'm going to start with is probably the easiest fish curry in the world. And then we're going to do some beer battered fish. So we'll start with the fish curry. Right, so I've just brought the video down so you can see what I'm doing. Um, this is so easy. All the ingredients cook in foil in the oven and this is also one of the body coaches recipes um so it's really healthy so you know if you want a free pass to fishing this is definitely the way forward a healthy yummy tea at the end of it um so i just cut one of the bigger fillets in half just so it parcels in a little bit better let me just wipe my hands right so we're even going to put the rice in there so Easy as use the old two minute microwave rice because obviously it's already cooked. So you just add that into the foil. In the middle. Like, just separate it out of it, fluff it around. So you could cook it all in one or you could do like two separate parcels that pass in so it's like a little meal in a bag there we go so rice then we go fish and then we go with a curry paste so i am using thai green curry paste you can use any one you want you can pretty much get a paste for every type of curry and you're just going to dot it around, get it smooth over with the spoon. Get rid of that one. Then some veg or something. So I'm going to use some baby corn and some munch too. If you wanted, you could add in. Um, like some fresh chopped chilli, if you want to give it a little bit of an extra spice. Just keeping it quite chunky. You could even just like break it in so it's rustic. There we go. And then some munch too. You could put like peas in it, green beans. You know the type of veg. Right. So that's what it looks like at the moment. I just moved the chopping board out of the way so you could see what I'm going to do. I'm just going to lift the sides up a bit because all I'm going to do, now I use light coconut milk to make it even healthier. So the ladies will love it. And just pour on some coconut milk so I've not like soaked it but you know it's gonna be enough liquid to help that paste to cook in and help create steam to make sure it cooks through and then you literally just parcel oh, wrong way this way <laughs> parcel it up like so Actually, I'm going to give it a little squeeze of lime as well, some extra fresh flavour. I meant to do that before I started parceling. There we go. Um, parcel it up so that the steam stays inside. And then just in the oven at about 170, 
and I reckon about 15 to 20 minutes and that will be cooked perfectly. And that is it, fish curry in a bag. How easy is that? So I'll show you what it looks like once it's cooked. Okay, so I'm gonna make batter now. Um, it's a beer batter. So you want a pale ale. We've got old speckled hen. Um, yeah, you want a pale ale because you don't really want it to give any color to the batter, otherwise it's just gonna look burnt. Right, so let's just move the camera down. Um, I've just got behind me some chips blanching. I do blanch mine first just because there's nothing worse than like you into a hard chip. Um, I just use normal white potatoes that I peeled and chipped. If you're using a softer potato like King Edward's or Maris Piper's, you maybe wouldn't need to blanch them. I'm also going to turn my fryer on and um, we're going to go for about 160. Right, so 115 grams of plain flour. And this should do about four fillets. You want a teaspoon of baking powder. And a teaspoon of salt. And then just sift it. Okay, that's the dry ingredients sifted together. So we're going to add in our ale. You want 150 mils of this amount of flour. You don't want it to be too wet. You want it to be quite thick and creamy about the consistency of double cream. Perfect. Add her in. And then just whisk. So just whisk until all the ingredients are together and it's nice and smooth and thick and creamy. So like I said, like like double cream. Here we go. So batter is all whisked. Just looks like thick pancake batter. I'm gonna fill it. So I'm gonna cut that into like four chunks, I think. Cause that's too big for my fryer. Move the flour bag out the way. Right. So we'll just cut this down a bit so it fits into my basket. flour them. That was perfect timing. The fryer is hot enough. So the fryer is at about 160. You don't want it too hot. If it's too hot, the batter will cook too quickly on the outside and the fish on the inside won't be cooked. And then you'll just end up with like real brown batter. There we go. Let's move everything together. Okay, so in the batter, see how nice and thick that is. Make sure he's well coated. Let him run off. And then, I'm doing this one handed now. <laughs> into the fire it goes. So that should take about six minutes. The light will come back on, um, the lights come back on because obviously it's cooled the temperature of the oil down, adding in the cold ingredients. Uh, when it floats, that generally means it's cooked. So can you see the fish has come right up to the top now? Perfect golden color. 
So that is done. So I'm just going to take it out and pop it onto some kitchen paper to drain off the excess oil. Oh, we had a bit of, a bit of stickage. So I'll just show you that again. So lightly floured fillet into the batter. Get it well coated. Let the excess run off. And then in to the fat. And yeah, that was definitely no more than six minutes. There we go. The next one ready to come out. So for the chips, I just turned the fryer up to about 180, 190. Let's see how they go. Looking yum. This is it all finished. So obviously we'll be adding salt and pepper, salt and pepper, salt and vinegar. We've got petty piles, but obviously you could have mushy peas, tartar sauce. Um, I don't know. Some people have beans for fish and chips. Whatever you fancy. And this is the bake in the bag fish curry. So easy to make. You could use any fish, any curry sauce you like. And uh, yeah, tasty. So with my curry, I serve them with this. These are like a revelation that we've discovered recently. It's so good. So fish and chips for John and the kids. And curry for me.